There's a lot I can say about natural frequency, but the point of these videos is to just make it quick and simple. So I'm going to cover this topic without going into too much depth because you can look up all sorts of examples of natural frequency online. So we're talking about natural frequency or mechanical resonance. Many objects have a natural frequency they will vibrate at. For example, this uh, spring with a weight on it will go up and down with a certain frequency, meaning it will do it so many times in one second. That's the frequency you could say it likes to vibrate at. Just like this pendulum here, it has a natural frequency. It'll vibrate at a certain number of times per second. That happens to be based on uh, the length of the string. I can change its natural frequency, but at this frequency, for this length, that's what it likes to vibrate at. I can take a ruler and say, this has a natural frequency. If I push it, it'll vibrate back and forth so many times a second. Lots of objects do that. Now what you can do is, you can discover pretty quickly that if you push an object at its natural frequency, or some multiple of it, it'll vibrate a lot more. And you knew that when you were a little kid and you were playing on a swing. You got on the swing and you were kicking your feet. And the first few times you did it, you just sort of kicked your feet back and forth. But sooner, soon you realize, if I kick my feet at the same frequency as the swing, the swing is like a pendulum. It swings back and forth so many times a second, or takes, or its period is, it takes so many seconds to swing back and forth. And you discover, if I give the swing a little push in time with its natural frequency, uh, the amplitude would build up. The swing would get higher and higher and higher. So if an object has a natural frequency and you push it at that natural frequency or some multiple of it, it will swing more and more. Meaning if I push this, it has a natural frequency. And if I push it at some multiple, like every second time, its frequency will increase. You can also do that with uh, something like a wine glass. A wine glass has a natural frequency. If I put my fingers in the water and rub it on the glass, well seriously, you've never seen this before? I can make it vibrate at its natural frequency. What's happening is my fingers are rubbing against the glass as I'm moving them around and they're vibrating. And when the vibration of my finger is the same as the frequency of the glass, the natural frequency, it pushes it and makes it resonate more. You've probably heard that a singer can break a wine glass by singing the same note. If I could sing that note at this glass and I could sing it with enough power, this glass would start to vibrate in sympathy with it uh, because my frequency is matching the natural frequency of this, the glass could break. I've noticed that in my house, one of my windows has a natural frequency that it vibrates at. That's very similar to the natural frequency of trucks going by. Their engines are vibrating as they rotate. And so my truck goes by, if its engine is vibrating or rotating at that frequency, my window in my house will uh, rattle. A good example that you'll see in any video on natural frequency is one for the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge had a natural frequency that it vibrated at, and the engineers didn't understand this when they built it. So as the wind, on a windy day when the wind was passing above and underneath the bridge, it would cause the bridge to vibrate. When the frequency of the wind, the vibrations the wind caused, matched the natural frequency of the bridge, the bridge started to go up and down like crazy until it started to get a torsional vibration and collapse. So let's take a really quick look at that video of a bridge vibrating at its natural frequency. Now that you've looked at that bridge vibrating its natural frequency, engineers realize that bridges can do this, they have to design them so that the natural frequency of the bridge is nowhere near the natural frequency of what the wind can produce. So those are good examples of natural frequency and mechanical resonance.